Technology and all its many add-ons, such as social media, mobile apps, and the rest can be productive tools if properly used. Unfortunately, more and more people are suffering from information overload and excessive use of mobile phones, which experts have argued lead to reduced productivity, particularly in the workplace. Adeoye Abodunri, Director, Expos Technologies, joins us to discuss how to improve productivity using technology. One of the challenges a lot of organizations have today is that a couple of their staff get to work and they do social media virtually all through the day. What's your opinion or what's the way forward? Now, employers must factor this into the workplace. There are two ways to do it. Is that you work against it directly or you use that energy. For example, things like customer service, the part of your business that has to do with interaction. Don't work against social media. Use social media to actually drive that part of the business. Your feedback mechanisms, your documentation for customer reports, and the banks are doing well about this. In fact, many people now, if you see it's a cultural shift, people would, people, I'm hearing the feedback from some of my friends, that people would rather speak to the call center through social media, like Twitter, as against if you call. Because if you call, it's the element of one-on-one. -on -one. But it's much more effective if you go on social media where everybody's watching or reading. So, um, Organizations can work with the energy of social media on one side to ensure that productivity happens, especially when it has to do with customer service or making impressions or any service in that realm. The second domain, which is where you need some quietness, order, and systems, where you don't need any distraction, then you need to work, the human capital team with the IT team needs to work systems and structures. You can't give a one-size-fits-all, but you need to minimize the distraction, get people seated. Some organizations, for example, have policies that say you can't do anything on social media until 5 p.m., 4 p.m. Many of the multinationals have these kind of policies. And even on your mobile phones, you have to be careful because productivity is productivity. So, so there are two ways. It's either you want to work with social media energy if it lines up your business objective or that functional of the business or you want to do something to minimize the effect of it and take it outside of work hours so that people are able to focus and develop your work stream that's all okay so let's talk about individual productivity uh, yeah. what are some of the tools that you have found out that can be very helpful to make people uh, be better productive now that's a blank question but there are many tools it depends on what you want to achieve you know success or productivity is also personal. What are you calling productivity? If, for example, you want to get smarter, you want to get more intelligent, in what area? Is it about making decisions? So there are systems that help you simulate. There are software that help you simulate decision making. And a couple of them online. Uh, if you want to get intelligent about your calendarization, which is your personal organization in time management, you, you have, your Google Calendar is available. You can put other systems. Some, when you wake up in the morning, the list wakes you up. I mean, you have ones that can, you can program per hour. It also gives you an alarm. I saw something where you can literally program yourself and it gives you hourly notice to say 9 o'clock, this is what you said you're going to do, time for this meeting is up. Uh, the idea is that we're going to the point where you can increase your personal productivity to the order of any level you want times 10. In your opinion, do you think that Nigerians are excessively addicted to social media, um, do you think there's a balance from what you observe so far? No, it's not among the youths. No, it's not balanced. The, the addiction of young Nigerians to social media is horrible. And I use the word horrible with guidance, with some, with some proviso. Um, I think that Nigerian young people are overtly addicted to social media. I remember I told you our cultural psyche, we like to show off we, also, we are also an aspirational society. What we don't have, I mean, the young people majorly are aspirational. We, 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 we would rather make a lot of noise about who we are not. This is a predominant feeling, and you probably will not be able to do anything about it quickly. So, yes, because social media is a place that gives you the opportunity to vent who you are not, you can tinker with the picture, this show. This picture, this your uh, dark rimmed uh, glass now can be turned to golden. I can edit and put Gucci or something, a label on it, and believability will soar. And that image makes people to feel that, wow. Uh, I've got friends who've told me that anytime they post new pictures on social media, people call them to ask for money, so to speak. So um, it's, it, that's how we are as a people. But this is a scary part. 
the rate of dissatisfaction as a productivity professional and as a coach on one side, uh, the rate of dissatisfaction that comes from social media is getting too high. People are beginning to adduce personal happiness and use what they see on social media as the indicator of success and the personal happiness or personal contentment, the part of you that doesn't allow you to commit suicide because things are not working well, the ability to sit at something small and work at it for many years while you are not in the glare of everybody. Now everybody can be on the air openly from 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. the following day. Now, when everybody's making that kind of noise, so the habit of sitting out to create wealth is reduced in. So this addiction has the negative and downside. And the other thing is that communication is now global. You can talk to anybody. You can send anybody an inbox. So anything can happen. That possibility, in line with the level of addiction you have, makes it a little bit worrisome. Um, why it has its positive side, that negative side is actually disturbing, especially for productivity professionals. It's clear that there are issues with addiction when it comes to social media. How do you think parents can deal with it when it comes to teenagers? Okay, parenting is a deep, deep, deep area. And one of the things that we have seen in, in the productivity and uh, personal development industry, again, is, is, the, is the prevalent going astray of children and parents don't even know anything about it. So here's what I tell parents, number one, you must be aware. Uh, your generation as a parent, especially from the generation of your children, seek to be aware. A master at one level must be a student at another. When it comes to social media and all the equipment and all the bodies of knowledge in social media, trust me, dear parent, you are probably the teenager and your teenager is the adult. The rules are reversed. <laughs> Seriously, they know the buttons, they know how to hide everything from you. The rule is to humble yourself and take a class in new modern social media techniques, make a developmental plan to increase competence in that area. Go for a Facebook enhancement class, an Instagram enhancement class, one for yourself because there are new ways of getting jobs and even getting things done as an adult. So everybody who is above 40 should take a Facebook class, an Instagram class, um, a Snapchat class, and do that once in two years. That's the truth. It will benefit your business and your life, and lastly, your children. That's the first thing. Get aware about what's going on. Number two is that vigilance is very important. Develop the habit of observation and vigilance. And when there's a social media problem, it doesn't happen in parenting. It won't show itself as a social media problem. You don't know where your children are picking their habits from. They are picking from social media, but you, but you are not even, you, the, the behavior at display doesn't show like social media. So you've got to be patient and be very vigilant, able to draw correlations. So if you didn't do step one very well, even if you are saying anything at step two, what I'm describing now, you can't even interpret what's going on. Step three is that invest in technological gadgets and equipment that give you visibility as a parent. Especially when you have a teenage child, once a child is below 18, try as much as possible to know what passes through their um, tabs, their phones, look at it. If you can, I recommend that parents minimize how much of technology the children has would have access to, if you can. Finally, what would you say to someone watching this show now who is probably not employed on how they can use technology and productivity to create something for themselves? The key is to grow your productivity. And you see, the rule is that if you put so much value in yourself with whatever you have today, very soon in the future, somebody will put much more value into you. The rule is to be quiet where you are and from that place, build and dig a lot of wealth. That is what you should do. Find an essence why somebody should want to pay you money. Then make the gift rare by either being very good at it or learning skills that nobody knows in your area. Don't commoditize yourself. Use the availability of the internet and all of these things to build for yourself very great capacity in any industry. Like Thank you for this. being on the show today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Adio has pointed out that technology can really help you become more productive. However, you need to learn to control certain aspects such as how much time you spend on social media and also what you do there. Long and short is that you should be in control and not the other way around. That's our show for today. Please follow us on social media.
can watch these and previous editions of the show on the channel's TV YouTube account or via my blog cfatech.ng. For Tech Trend, I'm Chukwemeka Agbata. Oh, oh, oh.